position that a little bit. <laughs> okay, excellent. And with uh, that, I want to say, hey, everybody, how are you doing? And welcome to this segment of Women at Embed. And just for anyone who's watching this for the very first time, just a little bit of background. Um, this year on International Women's Day at Embed, we decided that we wanted to celebrate. And we wanted to celebrate um, the pioneers who are in our, in our industry by shining a light on them and telling their story. And one of the reasons that we wanted to do that is because, as everybody knows, we're a technology company, and especially in tech, gender parity is an ongoing challenge. Um, but at Embed, we have a 50% um, CEO executive team that is 50% female, led by a strong female CEO, uh, Renee Welsh, when only 17% of MNCs have, of uh, Fortune 500 MNCs, have a female CEO. So, and you know, it wasn't by design when we just, when we looked at our metrics, we said, hey, we have, we thought we were sitting at about 30%, but actually when we saw that we were at, at a perfect 50% gender parity, that's when we said, hey, you know what, we want to celebrate. And what was wonderful is even the chairman of IAPA, who is a female, European, um, she joined in as well and said, hey, I'll join your campaign also. And so after that, it just kind of became something that, it's like a tumbleweed, right? Because we're talking to- That's awesome. That's <laughs> awesome. I love it. I love it. Isn't that great? And so as, as I mentioned just a moment ago, Beth, this is our opportunity, we felt, just to shine a light because there's so many pioneers in this industry um, like yourself that we would be able to talk to and say, hey, let's bring their story. Let's shine a light on their story because it is the gift of your example that might capture the imagination of someone watching this and saying, I want to be like Beth. I'm going to go into the same industry, oh. right? And so... Without further ado, and especially for our international uh, viewers from, let's say, Europe or the, uh, the Middle East, I want them to know who you are. So we're speaking with Beth Stanley, and she is the unstoppable, unstoppable, dynamic, and enthusiastic liver of life. She is an icon in the family entertainment attractions and amusement space in North America. She is known by everyone, of course, as the CEO and founder of Trainertainment. Um, she did that 15 years ago, and since then, she's been coaching and training, and she's the award-winning author of People Buy From People. And again, as a CMO, that really, really speaks to me. So Beth, hello, and thank you for being with us today. It's my Friday morning. It's your Thursday night. There you go. There you go. I, I, um, I, I am sacrificing Grey's Anatomy. I, I watch very little TV yeah. and Grey's Anatomy is one of those, but I would rather be here with you. I, you know, when you, when you talk about the fact that 50% of the executive force at Embed is female, I'm blown away by that because it, our industry in general is very male dominant. It's always been, you know, I've been in this industry for about 25 years and I've never felt like one of the boys. I do feel like that um, I'm one of the players. Yeah. And when I moved from, uh, I was in capital equipment sales. And when I moved from capital equipment sales to being the CEO, there was a change. Yes. And, and, so, and I was much more part of the, part of the group, if you will. And I don't know if that was a change in the way I thought of me, Mm -hmm. Or if it was a change in the perception of my, I went from sales rep to CEO, you know, who, I don't know. I don't know whose mind changed, but it was different. Uh, yeah. Excellent. And you know, your think tank Thursdays are widely followed, right? And people talk about it. And in fact, you know, I was looking at, you know, some of the people that you work with who are themselves are professional coaches and whatnot. Everything yes. that you say, you know, obviously speaks to me, but I was watching the Christine Burr. I think oh, she's Thursday. wonderful. She, you talk about an icon. She's an icon in the industry. Christine is. Yeah. Yes, she is. And I'm so excited for her that she just sold her business and she's looking at what's the next step. And she's looking yep. at it through the lens of how can I be of best value to this industry right. to kind of, and that such as her commitment to the evolution of our industry, because it's such a great industry. Um, and this is something that I heard you and she's speaking of, like, it's such a great industry with people that have you know, such goodness because we're in the business of fun. We're bringing joy to yeah. people. And so it kind of becomes something contagious that you just want to continue doing. But tell us, Beth, tell us your story. Oh my gosh. Well, you know, um, I have always had a, a, a very entrepreneurial spirit. Yes. Um, wound up, I always tease. I got my, um, I went off to college and wound up getting my MRS 
Yes. At the end of the first year, I wound up finding the love of my life, my groom of almost 40 years. Wow. So now you can tell how old I am, right? And I got my MOM uh, shortly thereafter. And so life looked a lot different than the plan, which is really okay because you know what? There's always, I mean, we're in the middle of that right now. Who could have planned what we're living with during this world health issue and the choices that we make right now are going to have such a significant impact on our future and so I, I kind of think starting out in that early almost I don't even know if I could have called it womanhood but very at a very young age I started a very grown-up life yeah. uh, in the family mode and decided um, early on to uh, sell Tupperware because it was easier to be at home with my kiddos right. and, and then do things at night, have to work parties and things like that. So I got a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful education in sales and sales training and got lots and lots of training. And I, I can remember at about, mm, oh, Sarah, I would say maybe 27, sitting in a giant um, <laughs> convention center at a, right. at a probably a, a Tupperware Jubilee. And yeah. And, and a woman on the stage, I can't even call her name, but she was speaking and she got to me right here. And I remember having that thought, like, I want to do that. Yes. I want to do that someday. I want to be able to have that much influence. I want to, I want to help somebody yes. think about being more than they could be. And yes. um, I, I was pretty young <laughs> and, uh, and I didn't think at the time, like, well, what do I know? Who would, who would want to listen to me? Right. And kind of moved through all of that, got literally got addicted to the game of bowling and began to support my habit by working in the industry. And, um, and so worked in the center, uh, got really involved in the early days of FECs, bowling based, FECs with had one of the first card systems yeah. um, worked through all of that sort of thing and grew up out of that and, and went to work and started selling capital equipment in the family entertainment center industry so was able to help open lots of facilities and just learn 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 and, and really figured out people were buying capex for me because I was going on site and training them how to to sell more group events and how to build out wow. bigger party programs. And so, yeah, in 2005, I had what uh, Michael Gerber would refer to as an entrepreneurial seizure <laughs> and um, thought, I can do this better. People are buying that expensive equipment for me because I'm, I'm training. Why don't I make a training company? And Hubby and I went to lunch and had a conversation about it. And he said, yeah, it's only a good idea. And I literally turned in my notice on Friday. That was a Thursday lunch. I turned in my notice on Friday and never looked back. So that's the story. And, and it was in April. It was right now, this time of year. And um, um, we launched the company in the middle of May. So we're about to celebrate our 15th anniversary. Wow. Okay. Yeah. 